Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial in 3ds Max. Previously, we were talking about selecting objects and creating also objects. Now for today's lesson, we will, we will be learning how to modify our object. Like for example, I have created a box and I need to insert some certain values to this box. Like for example, for the width and height and length. Now, in order to do that, I recommend you guys always to start randomly like for example I'm going to hit uh, hold the control uh, right click right mouse click then go for example to box create a box click and drag then leave your mouse slide it forward in order to give a height then one left click okay now i have created this box randomly without any certain values in order to go and insert some values uh, we need to go to the modify window okay you guys so this one is for the create i have already created my object now i'm going to modify it how can i go there Okay, here you go, the easiest way to go to modify window. You can guys either click on this icon directly or go through these numbers on your keyboard from 1 to 5. All of them takes you to, um, to modify window. Now, let me go there, for example. Let me explain a little bit about this window over here. The first thing you'll notice is the name of this object. Uh, beside the name there is a color bar you can choose a color for example for this object and choose red for example okay now under the name bar, uh, the name bar you'll notice that there is a list which is the modifier list everything you modify is from here now these commands uh, helps you to retransform this object okay guys we'll go through all of them from uh, the very next lesson now beneath the modifier list you'll notice that there is a box word over here or let me say this panel this small panel over here just like uh, the layers in Photoshop it contains every modifier that you use on this object like for example I'm using this um, modifier for example as you can see that it appears over here now I'm going to delete it for now I don't really need it let's go we are not going to talk about these icons over here uh, now the most important thing in this panel is the parameters okay guys everything you need is here now I want to insert my values for this box let me go there for example I need to uh, create a box with uh, five lengths and five width and five centimeters for height okay guys now I can go there select some select this number okay for example I'm going to insert five now select the other one I'm going to insert five the last one which is related to height five hit enter and here is my box okay guys five five and five now uh the fastest way to go through all of them easily is to insert the first value do not select the next one then insert it no insert the first one then hit the downwards arrow on your keyboard and it will automatically um, move to the next value okay so here is six the other one six hit enter and we are done with modifying our object uh, just to know guys a side note that 3ds max does not modify a couple of objects it only modifies one object at a time okay okay now let me delete this one uh, select it then hit delete on your keyboard now we will be talking about something completely different we are done with this lesson for now 
let me close this window here and start with a really new thing move rotate and scale the object how can i use these commands over here as you can see that there is that there are different shapes for these axes this one is for the move and this one is related to rotate the last one is for scale how can we go through all these commands for move you have to hit the w on your keyboard let's go try it out um, here are my axes okay so i'm going to hit w and you notice that the move icon here is activated okay now all you can uh, all you need is to select okay or choose some certain axis click on it hold then drag okay and that's it hold some axis then drag well it moves the object one axis at a time okay you can use actually two axes by um, clicking on the area between these two for example you notice that it's going to be lighting up with yellow as you can see this one for example and this one Z and X okay that's amazing now actually it's the same thing for rotate and scale let's go try them well for rotate hit E and you notice that the axis changes into another shape okay so um, just rotate it the way you want you can also rotate um, each or every single axis just just this way okay now let's go to scale which is R okay you can scale an object from the middle of this icon or this axis or you can choose maybe two axes only to scale this way okay now let's go back to move and explain a couple of steps for it now as you can see that Q is to exit command okay now I want to exit these three commands so I go and hit Q as you can see that um, this axis here is already activated hit Q and it will be deactivated okay now I cannot move or do anything I'm just selecting the object okay now uh, another thing about these axes is when you hit ctrl shift X it's going to be hidden okay so hold for example I'm using the move command okay so ctrl shift and X you'll notice that it's moving but my axes are hidden okay so whenever you face such a problem all you need to do is to hold ctrl shift and X and you will be able to see them again moving on to another method of moving objects for example guys I'm going to draw this object over here okay so 30 60 and 44 high and 10 centimeters for the radius of this ball or this object over here now let's draw this box over here with these values now as we learn guys we have to draw randomly or create this box randomly hit one for example on your keyboard and boom here is the modifier list uh, now let's go to length for example um, 30 okay 40 or 60 sorry 60 and 40 for the height okay great now let's create another 3d object for example on t boat for example okay let's go to modify the radius change it to 10 now how can i move my object on the top or to the top of this box okay let's go and try an effective method which says go to top always 
when you want to move an object go to top okay so I'm going to select my teapot go and drag it to my box over here let's go back to perspective PZ F3 in order to see where the box is and where the teapot is now how can I move this one over here to the top also go to some um, maybe to the front elevation and drag this teapot over here to the top go to perspective and here it is okay guys so easy method all you need to do is to go to the top move your object then go to another elevation then move your object upwards for example okay and you get a very precise result now another easy way is the shift a shortcut okay which matches axis how can i use this now i want to move this object here to this one as you can see that each object has its own axis now i'm going to match the axis of this object to this object here now select this one hold the shift a okay now go to this object and click using your mouse and you'll notice that it's the same process but faster okay go to the front elevation for example then move it up just like this way so in order not to move this object from the top when where, wherever it is just select it shift a go to the other object and it will match um, the axis just this way go to the left elevation for example then slide it upwards and that's it okay now let's remove this one and create another box like for example this is a book okay guys and I want to place this book on the top of this table now the other way is to use the alt n shortcut what does it do let's go there select this object alt n now this shortcut helps you to match or to put a surface on another one for example i want to put this surface here on the top of this table okay so i'm going to click on this one first second go to this one over here for example and click on it and you notice that that surface i selected previously is on the top of this surface okay guys so i'm going to repeat it with another example let's aim that uh, let's claim that there is a wall over here and i have a tv okay and i want to move my tv to the wall um, you can do it both ways shift a go there okay but you have to rotate it this way then move it up and it's going to take a long time so alt n choose the surface over here to this one over here and okay that's it that's every single thing about it guys uh, let's claim that it's TV or uh, maybe a frame or paint or anything you want now let's make actually another example let's assume that this wall is rotated okay so I'm going to put this TV on this wall using the same method alt n can choose this one into here okay now if I want to move this object with this rotated angle okay and I'm, I'm not going to be able to move it precisely I, I'm going to have I am quite uh, it's quite difficult to move them together okay so I need to move this TV or make my axis here parallel with my rotated wall how can I do this now I'm going to select my TV activate the move then go to this sliding window over here 
choose local okay and you notice that my axis has parallel lines with this object okay so I'm going to move this one just as easy as it looks okay same thing for rotation okay if I want to rotate it for example um, using the the X um, axis I cannot do this precisely so I'm going to go there local and now I can rotate it the way I want okay so that's everything about the alt end and movement you let's go back there as you can see guys now we can move the object three ways either random way using the shift a or the alt n and that's everything for today's lesson guys the next lesson we will be talking about moving rotating and the scaling precisely using the f12 shortcut okay also we'll be using the snap settings in order to snap our object just to um, get so precise uh, results okay now see you in the next lesson so hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next lesson.